mother asked for nobody to record, so please do not record. It's a public street. It's a public street. politely for him not to record out of respect for the mother and he still record. We've asked politely out of respect for the mother that the she doesn't want anybody to record. Like, why are you? And, 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 and we've asked, we've, it's a know, First it's Amendment protected activity. Yes, I can right. stand right here on a public street no, and right. record. Do you respect the mother? The what? The I'm recording squad cars parked on the okay, side so of the road. You, you guys can order all you want, but you have no authority, so I'm oh, sorry. The cops will say nothing to me because it is a First Amendment. The news can't even record, so what makes you think you're special and you can't? You can't. You guys have no grasp, no grasp of what your legal rights are. No, you're the only person that said anything to me about recording. I'm just trying to get video. You guys swarmed me. I'm doing nothing. You guys see I did nothing. You guys hear her? She just threatened me. Pretty cold today. Um, it's been what's it been? It's been the fifties as of like last week. Probably forty change tonight. It's pretty chilly. What are you um? What are you taping? Just getting footage. Oh, it's like just about the building? Or yeah. Any specific reason? Just getting content for a story. What kind of story? It's well, it's not published yet, so I'm not going to divulge what it is. What's your name, badge number? So, it's Sergeant Frank Leon. Thank you. What's your uh, badge number? 738. Thank you. Okay, you, got a, you got ID on you? Yeah. No. Yeah. We need ID. We need ID. For a First Amendment protected activity? Well, it's actually a security issue. Security issue? Yeah, you're videotaping the police station. I'm, getting I'm a journalist getting content for a story. Which is fine, so you have no problem then giving us Why would ID? I have to give you my ID for performing a legal activity? How do we know it's legal? How do we I'm know on a, I'm on a, I'm on a public not, sidewalk. How do we know you're not planning on blowing up the building? Uh, shooting up I mean, the I have no ill will, if that's what you're asking. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, that's a, that's the beauty of the Constitution. You don't need to know that, right? Um, I'm filming on a public... Okay, and we're legally asking you for your ID. And that, is that, that's a lawful order? That is lawful order. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. Well, I'm no. not going to provide my ID. Okay. There's no reason I haven't performed any illegal act. I'm on a public sidewalk, as you can see. Yes, filming the police department. Yeah. It's supposed to be secure. We don't want people coming here. This is a public up. building. Yes. Yes. Yes, that, that. And there is very public. It's, it's a pub public. It's we, public. We own this building. It's not a public building. You this is not you a public building? In, you can't go in and walk around. In the lobby? In the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah. You're allowed this lobby. is a public building. I'm it's filming from an outside on a public space. You can't allow the video tape to police station. You most certainly can. No, you're not. Can actually. Uh, you most. I'm a thousand percent sure you can film anywhere outside. Are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I am. You're sure about that as well. Yep. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, I'm not gonna provide my ID. I haven't performed any illegal activity. Can you articulate a crime I've committed or? Reasonable suspicion. Yeah. Of, of, of what crime? Reasonable. I don't know if you're about to blow up the building. If you're setting. Well, can you articulate a crime I've committed? You're videotaping security areas of the place. Yeah. That's not a crime. So I'm going to need you to let me know what Reason crime I've committed. Reasonable suspicion. You do not have to commit a crime. Okay, am I being detained right now or am I yes. free to go? Yes, you're Okay, on, on what, under what suspicion of what crime? Reasonable suspicion. I don't know Are you sure about here. this? I'm positive. Okay. So uh, I, go I, one of, I would, I would one ask of, for a supervisor to come out at this point because... Okay, yeah, so well... Do well, provide identification or not? I'm not providing any identification. Right. I've done so nothing wrong. you your back and being detained. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to hold the camera. Please don't turn it off. Thank you. I don't have my license on me, so... 
Okay. You don't have anything on you with your name on it? Anything with your name on it? No, uh, right there is my paycheck, so no, I'm on your okay. How you doing, officer? You are an officer, right? I am. Uh, can you identify yourself, sir? My name's Nick. That's nice to meet you, Nick. Are you like a detective or lieutenant or something? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're what, sir? I need to talk to you, sir, if you get a chance. Congratulations. I didn't know you You got up there, sir. Yes, sir. You remember me? Yes, sir. You're not too good. I just got my rights violated. Your and all right, I walked to the side of the building where the police cars are, uh -huh. and the officer asked him to identify himself. Okay. He wouldn't do it. He told me to get away from the car. He don't have a name tag on? He did not. What officer was it? I don't know his name. But he, he threatened. in uniform? Yes, he was in uniform. Then they all have to wear name tags. I, I, I didn't see it, because he, he was telling me to turn around and go back to my vehicle. I asked him, was I being trespassed? He said, I'm going to tell you one more time, and you're going to jail. I said, please, okay. please. Front of the building is public. Okay? Yes. The side is where our detention center is. Okay? I understand that. So we get to regulate that a little bit more about who's over there. Right. Well, right. according so to my attorney, if it didn't have a sign that says no restricted access. And then the back of the building, once you get a certain point, you're mm -hmm. on railroad property. And so they'll trespass you. Okay. Right. So but as long as an officer outside. don't solicit it, right? Do what? As long as an officer don't solicit a trespass, right? As long as the officer don't what? As long as you, like, say, for instance, if you were back there and you're saying, hey, um, you want this guy trespassed, I'd be soliciting, right? No, actually, if we sketch you on their property, we have a right to arrest you immediately because we have a report on file from them, which is legal in the state of Mississippi, that says anybody on their property is immediately arrested for trespassing. And then they come with us to court and testify that, yes, that's right. So mm -hmm. we have a good, we have a kind of, I guess you say, an interlocal agreement with their law enforcement agency. Right. Guerrero has their own law enforcement Right, because I was right beside the b building. Okay, that's fine. I've been right beside the building, all the way around the building. That's fine. But that's probably why he was telling you to get away from the back because of the door back there. That's a detention facility. It's not the public access. There's no public access on that side of the building. The right. Public access is this is that door right there. Okay. Well, they locked me out. So, do you need something? Yeah, I was. Uh, you want to do my First Amendment right, freedom of press, and I was locked out. Okay. All right. But what I'm saying is, do you need something? Yes, I was going. Our facility's been on lockdown for. Oh, I've been uh, in there. I've been in there this morning. I've been in there last night. It says it on the door. If you have any of these problems, you cannot enter. Right. So that take, telling me that the lobby is, uh, is open to the public. Right. Which I'm being denied access because I'm recording. I'm doing my First Amendment right that's being violated. Okay. So the front door is locked right now. Yes, it is because I'm using my. I'm exercising my rights. They, they won't identify themselves. I asked them several times. I asked her when the chief of police was coming in. She wouldn't answer me. Completely ignored me. I asked the officers that were there. I said, hey, can y'all identify yourself? Are you telling me your failure to deny me service? Oh, really? Got good video of it, not okay. open. Okay. Well, it's open at this point in time, okay? Right. The lobbies are open. That, that, that part of the PD is open. Then why was it locked? Before you showed up, maybe she was she in there. Yes, you can see her from out here. Got good pictures. Okay. Because camera don't lie. Oh man, I'm be hard pressed to tell you you can take a picture of her from right here because I can't see her through that door right there. My eyes can't see her. So I got a good camera. Okay. Anyway, when they go to the restroom, they will. Uh... <laughs> I love it. There. It's open. Yes, sir. Uh, so, anyway, that being said, is there something you need here? Yeah, I was just going to step inside. I was going to record a little bit, and I was going to be gone. Okay. 
And then I'm just trying to figure out why they won't identify themselves. When I'm like that canine officer right there, I asked him several times to talk to me. I asked him, I said, what you do here? Um, what kind of canine you got? I was like, I don't want to have to go over here and do a public information request. Right. And then last night when I was here, um, I stood in here. I started talking to Jennifer. She was awesome. Right. She identified herself. She uh, tried to answer all the questions. But then this officer come in and told her, go into the back. And she went into this hallway into the some office back there. And then he sat there and I say, sir, can you identify yourself? Um, what exactly are you, a patrolman? Are you a sergeant? Or he said, why? Why do I have to identify myself to you? I said, that's not how this works, sir. I'm a citizen. I mean, I can go over there and do a four-year request and get your information. Right. I don't want to have to do that. Okay. Well, and then they, then they started going in the corner over here and they're saying, that piece of shit needs to get out of here. And he's like, well, will that fly? How are we going to get him out of here? And I was like, I see you. I said, can I search you for my safety? No. I know, but it was funny to no, say that. Anyway. It's like.